From the moment you start, you'll notice big changes in Access 2007. Changes designed to help you work easier, faster, and more efficiently. On the Getting Started with Microsoft Office Access page, you can create a new database, open a database you've used before, and explore the new offerings from Office Online. If you're creating a new database, get a jump start by beginning with a pre-built database template. For example, download a business template from Office Online by clicking Business and then selecting a template. Name the database and click Download and you're off and running. Once again, you'll notice right away the new look of Access 2007. Take a moment to explore it. Start by clicking this button and checking out the navigation pane, which shows you what's in the database. Click here and then click Object Type to see a list of objects already in the new database. You can open objects in the list by double-clicking them. Take a look at the new 2007 system ribbon where commands are organized on tabs, in logical groups, for easy access. For example, if you click the Create tab, you immediately see the commands needed to create database objects, such as tables, forms, and reports. The Quick Access Toolbar here at the top belongs to you. Add your favorite commands to the toolbar by right-clicking a command and then clicking Add to Quick Access Toolbar. It'll always be there for you, right where you can see it. And this Microsoft Office button is not just here for looks. Click it and you'll see many of the commands that were located on the File menu in earlier versions of Access. Click the Access Options button to choose various program settings. Check out how well these new features work for you by creating a new table for this database. On the Create tab and in the Tables group, Take advantage of the new pre-built table templates by clicking Table Templates, then select one such as Tasks from the list. Here's the new table, with field names appropriate for a Tasks table. Right-click the Table tab and click Save. Type a name for the table, click OK, and your table is ready to go. Creating a new form is just as easy. On the Create tab in the Forms group, just click Form. And there's the form with the same name and fields as the Tasks table it was based on. Notice that the new table and form appear in the All Access Objects list in the navigation pane. Also, notice that commands specific to forms have appeared here under Form Layout Tools on the Formatting and Arrange tabs, making it quick and easy to change the form. For example, modify the look of a label by applying some formatting changes and you'll see the effect immediately. If you don't like a change, change it back with a click of the Undo button. And with a table open, you can instantly create a report based on that table. Just click the Create tab and then click Report. Here's the report all ready for data. Notice the Report Layout Tools now available on these tabs, Formatting, Arrange, and Page Setup. Use these commands to change the look of the report. Add grid lines, for example, and you'll see the effect immediately. After you have some content in a table, check out the report before printing by clicking Report View. When you save your work, what do you have? An Access Database in the new 2007 file format. To save a copy of the file in an older format, point to the Save As arrow and click the option that applies. The same command gives you the option to save a file created in an earlier version of Access as a 2007 file. Either way, Access 2007 has you covered.